welcome back in this video i will explain the concept of confusion matrix here we need to find the accuracy precision recall sensitivity and specificity for the given data here we will consider two class classification problem of predicting whether a photograph contains a man or a woman in this we have 10 records with expected outcome and set of predictions from our classification algorithm we need to compute the confusion matrix for the data and we need to compute the accuracy, precision, recall, sensitivity and specificity of the data. In this we are predicting whether a photo is of a man or woman. So we will assume that women as a positive class denoted as P and men as a negative class denoted as N. So once you denoted men with N and women with P, next we will find the count of true positive, true negative, false positive and false negative. First we will calculate the true positive. True positive is nothing but expected is women and predicted is women. That is a true positive case. So true positive cases are 4. Next we will calculate the true negative cases. True negative means expected is man and predicted is man. That is a true negative case. In this we have 3 cases of true negatives. So, after that we will find the false positive. False positive means expected is a man but a predicted is woman. In this case, here we can see that we have two cases with a false positive. So, next we will calculate the false negative. False negative means expected is woman but a predicted is man. In the 10 records, we have a one record with a false negative. So, once you find all the cases, now we will count the cases. Here we can see that uh, true positives are 4, true negatives are 3, false positives are 2, false negatives are 1. Once you find the number of cases, next we will uh, compute the confusion matrix. The confusion matrix contains the uh, two columns and two rows. Uh, in the columns, we have predicted women and men. In the rows, we have actual women and men. Here we can see that actual women and predicted women is nothing but the true positive cases. Those are 4. And uh, actual woman and predicted man, that is a false negative, that is one case. Next one is actually man, but a predicted is woman, that is a false positive and uh, we have two cases in that. Next one is a actual woman and predicted man, that is a true negative and we have three cases of true negative. So, once you got the confusion matrix, next we need to find the accuracy. Accuracy can be calculated. Uh, by adding true positive plus true negative divided by number of records here true positive cases are 4 true negative cases are 3 4 plus 3 which is equal to 7 divided by number of records are 10 so 7 divided by 10 which is equal to 0.7 so next we will find the precision in the precision we will find for the women which is equal to positive so precision can be calculated as true positive divided by true positive plus false positive. So, here we can see that true positive cases are 4 and uh, false positive cases are 2. So, 4 divided by 4 plus 2 which is equal to 0 0.667. Next, we will calculate the recall or sensitivity or true positive rate. So, recall can be calculated as a true positive divided by true positive plus false negative. So, true positive cases are 4. And uh, false negative cases are 1. So, 4 divided by 4 plus 1 which is equal to 5. So, 4 divided by 5 which is equal to 0.8. So, next we will calculate the true negative rates. So, that can be calculated by true negative divided by true negative plus false positive. So, which is equal to 3 divided by 3 plus 2 which is equal to 3 divided by 5 which is nothing but a 0 0.6. This is how we can calculate the accuracy, precision, recall, sensitivity and specificity. I hope the concept of confusion matrix is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.